So in this video, I'm going to show you how to build your very own steel bench vise. So if you like the idea, be sure to drop me one of these. Let's get building. Okay, so as let me go, go through the basic idea of everything. What I've done is I've taken a piece of angle iron, um, a piece of flat bar, and two more pieces of angle iron. Now the bottom piece is to be hooked onto the table edge like so. The other flat bar was put on that side to give a base as well. And the two other pieces of angle iron was put on the sides to go do as a guide. As the main part, I've taken a piece of U-channel, or channel iron basically, um, I've put it down between this and to get a bit of spacing between I used a old piece of sandpaper that's very thin just the spaces between the angle line on the sides and the channel just so that it would have a nice gap to slide afterwards and not too loose so after I clamped this with the spaces I welded everything in place so this is nice and square and in order to make it move I've taken a bunch of bolts um, I've welded it to some more pieces of flat bar and um, this is going to be welded onto the bottom edge like so and then I'm going to take a piece of threaded rod which will be screwing in and out there now for in order for this to move I'm basically taking another piece of flat bar like so and I'm going to weld it onto the edge of this channel like this weld it all around and then basically drill a hole for the threaded rod to go through and either side of the th of the flat bar over there I'm basically just going to put a, a nut on this side tack weld it in place and on this side I'll put a handle through in, in order to turn it and then maybe just a split pin at the back so you can't turn this thing all the way out now this is quite long now in the end this will be able to move probably about Let's have a look. Oh, it's it's going to have quite a distance. Probably about... Sure, what's the distance there? Let's have a look. Probably 20 to 25 centimeters, which is going to be quite a huge gap for this thing. Um, obviously, this is not the entire build. This still needs to be welded. For the jaws on top, I've got two bigger pieces of angle iron which are quite thicker the one I'm going to weld onto the U-channel at the bottom like so other one will be welded onto the angle irons on the side here um, while I'm welding them I will clamp them together to make certain that the, there's a nice square gap between them and they're not wonky and off angle like such so that's the idea over there and then for some support I've cut a bunch of flat bar at 90 degree corners just with the corners cut off because of the rounders that you find in the angle line over there so that is the plan with this obviously it'll be a bit more steady and won't fall over once it's welded but that's the idea and then this will then obviously move like so open and close if you turn it and that is the basic idea um, I'll make a plan for jaws in the in the meanwhile. I've, I've got a, a slight plan in mind, so we'll get to that a bit later on. This obviously will get four holes and will be bolted to the bench, so it's nice and steady. Um, there's a bit of dust, there's dirt laying, so it's it's pretty flat. But uh, once it's bolted, it'll be steady as well, and all the dirt cleaned out. So before I get to all these things. The first thing I'm probably going to have to do is to weld this point or the the edge over there, weld it together, and then put the threaded rod through these bolts, get it nice and straight in line, weld the bolts in place onto the frame over here, and then obviously before I weld this, I'll need to drill a hole for the threaded rod in on the right height. I'm just going to have to measure it so that this can obviously go through and move that back and forth. So, while I'm welding this, and drill a hole, and welding this to the frame, and drilling some more holes over here for the bolts, uh, let me quickly get around to doing that, 
and then we'll continue assembling the jaws and all those type of things. Awesome. Okay, so what has happened now is I've welded most of the things together. I've only attached the base to the table with two self type of screws just for demonstration purposes. I've welded the two support pieces for the main jaw on the base into this part here. I've also welded the support onto the movable part. I've also welded two tube nuts into place there. Um, that's for a later on project, so that's not too important right now. Um, on the threaded rod, which I've inserted at the bottom, like so, a threaded rod, I've uh, put three nuts on the end, on this end, and I've welded them together, then drilled a hole through the middle for a piece of steel rod, which I've welded two nuts on the end, just so this can slide back and forth. Um, I've put a washer just before the moving piece here. I've also welded the end on, as you can see. And in the inside, I've also put a washer and merely locked two nuts in place there as well. So this can turn without this moving around. Then, uh, like I showed in the previous uh, clip, I've then welded on the inside of this thing, welded four nuts together, that's welded onto the base, which is now all good in place. So this should now simply be able to slide in here, like so. Where is it in? Oh, there we go. And then just screw into place like this. This should be the maximum length that it's open. And this is about 23 centimeters. And it's got quite a good clamp. Let's see. Oh, no, that's a bit too long. Um, but it, it's, it's got a good clamp. I'll show you when it's a bit smaller, the clamping or the the vice uh, clamping string that it's got now. It's quite strong, um, which is more than sufficient for, for what I'm going to use it for. And uh, I'm sure you can make this much, much stronger with um, a thicker piece of threaded rod and bigger pieces of uh, angle iron and metal and so forth. But uh, for what I'm going to use it for, this is more than sufficient. Let's quickly turn this in. It's a fairly coarse thread, threaded rod. So in other words, it moves fairly quick enough. Um, if it was a finer thread, it would have moved much slower for the amount of turns that I'm giving the handle. So for what we've got here, this is moving sufficiently quick enough. Um, you'll see it's got a bit of play, um, just so it doesn't stick to itself too easily. Um, but the two jaws go together quite well, quite strongly. Uh, as we'll see in a moment, I'm going to bring them closer together, take a piece of uh, square iron, like so, clamp it, like so, and then, like you can see, I'm moving the entire table, and this is not going anywhere. This is solidly stable where it is now. Um, and that is quite awesome. That is exactly what I was looking for. Um, these two jaws can obviously go together quite nicely. Um, but what I am planning on doing is to make two removable pieces of jaws that's going to drill or bolt onto the main jaws. Just so that they can be replaced and you won't damage the vise on its own after a little while of use. And this is what it's going to. Obviously, this is going to be bolted to the table with bolts and nuts, um, which is going to be pretty strong. I've also put this plate here while it's in place, so that if you want to maybe hammer something or punch something, you've got a nice solid working surface to do that with. Um, the tube nuts over here, they've got a bit of another purpose still going. That's for a bender that I plan on building. Um, but there's still parts missing of that one, um, but we'll get about, we'll get to that a bit later on, maybe in the next project. But for now, these are just going to stay in place. Now, the main thing that I still need to do to this vise to complete it is obviously the two pieces of jaws, like I've demonstrated or like I've explained. And then what I also need to do is maybe just round it off a bit with the with a flapper disc, um, smooth it out a bit, and then give it a nice coat of paint, um, which should look very nice, I think. And uh, once that is done, this is basically it for now. Um, I'm quite happy with it. 
Um, once again, just remember, I'm not really near a professional welder, uh, merely a hobbyist. So uh, feel welcome to comment on my welding um, in the comment section below. But if you do like this vice, you like the project and you like all the other things that I've built, um, be sure to, to give me a thumbs up, give me a like. Uh, it'll really go a long way. Uh, I appreciate that. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing that as well. So until next time, thank you very much, guys.